Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. This video is about creating a base recycler view adapter class. Assume your application displays different list of items in many screens. So what we do is we create recycler view and the recycler view adapter for our list. And you already know that we do the same thing in all recycler view adapter classes. So in this video, we will learn making a base recycler view adapter class to make your recycler view adapter code much more concise. So let's start. I already have the basic setup ready here. I have my recycler view. I also have the item layout. You can see it here and it is a data binding layout. So my project has enabled the data binding as you can see here in build.gradle file. So all the basic things are set up. So what we need to do is we need to create a base recycler view adapter class that we will extend in all of our recycler view and it will reduce the code of our recycler view adapter. So let's see how we can do this thing. So we will create a class. It is a Kotlin file class and let's name it base recycler view adapter. Now it would be an abstract class. And here for our base recycler view adapter, we will define two types, two generic types. The first one is T and it is for our list of items. So we can pass to this base recycler view adapter any type of item. So we have T for our list of items. Then we have VB that is for our view data binding. For T we can define any and for VB we have view data binding. So whenever we will create a recycler view adapter, we will pass list of type T and a data binding that is for our recycler view item. So we have this base recycler view adapter class. Now we will extend recycler view dot adapter to this class because we are going to create a base recycler view adapter that will work as a recycler view adapter. So we need to extend recycler view adapter here. Now for the recycler view adapter, we need to define our view holder and we will define the view holder class inside this base recycler view adapter class. And I guess we have a mistake. We don't want annotation here, but we want abstract. So it is an abstract class base recycler view adapter with T of type any and VB of type view data binding. Now we will create one more class for our view holder as we define in any of our recycler view adapter class. So what we will do here is we will create a companion object and inside this companion object, we will create our class for recycler view holder. So here I will create a class base view holder and it will again take VB of type view data binding and to the constructor of this class, we will pass a binding that is of type VB and then we will extend the recycler view view holder like this and to this constructor we will pass binding dot root like this. So this is enough for our base view holder class. So what we did we created a generic type here that is VB and it will take view data binding. Then we are accepting the binding of type VB to the constructor of our base view holder and then we are passing the root of the binding to our recycler view dot view holder constructor. So our base view holder class is ready. Now we need to define this base view holder here inside our recycler view adapter type. So here we will write base recycler view adapter dot companion dot base view holder and for the type we will define VB that we already defined here. 
now we need to make it a constructor invocation so we have our abstract class base recycler view adapter ready now the first thing that we need in our recycler view adapter is the list of items so here we will define a where items and it is a list of type t so we will define it as mutable list of t now whenever we will create a recycler view we will display a list of t so that is why we need to create a function here that will add items to our list so here we will create a function fun add items it will accept items that is of type list of type t and inside this function we will write this dot items equals to items as mutable list because this is a non mutable list so we need to cast it as a mutable list so we have a function that will add all the items to our list items now to display all the items we need to call the function notify dataset changed it will update our list with the added items so we have the function add items complete now we will override the function that is get item count and it will return us the size of our items so we have here items dot size now after this we will override one more function that is on create view holder so we will write override one on create view holder and here inside this function we will create our view holder that is the base view holder so here we will write equals to base view holder of type vb and inside the constructor of our base view holder we need to pass a view data binding so we will create the view data binding using the data binding class so we have data binding util dot inflate now here we will create a layout inflator so we will write layout inflator dot from and we will get the context from this parent view group instance so we will write parent dot context like this and then we will pass parent and false and we need to pass one more parameter here that is the layout file that we need to inflate but we don't have a static layout file so we will define this file whenever we will extend our base recycler view adapter class and to define this i will create a function that is an abstract function so i will define it here so we have abstract fun get layout and it will give us an end that is our layout resource id so here we will call get layout and we inflated our layout now on create view holder is also complete it is creating an instance of our base view holder and returning here now whenever we will extend this base recycler view adapter to our main recycler view adapter we do not need to write this on create view holder or get item count because we already defined it here in the base class so our base recycler view adapter class is ready but i will create one more function here to handle the item clicks so whenever we select any item in our recycler view we will fire a callback and for this i will define a listener so i have a listener here that is where listener and it is equals to null now for the type of the listener we will define a lambda here so what we will do is we will return view the view that is clicked when we click on the recycler view item then the item that is of type t and the position of the item that is of type integer now what we will do we will define the return type as well 
so these are the parameters that we will pass and then we will define the return type that is unit now unit is basically void that means we don't have any return type so we have our listener ready now we need to make it nullable because the initial value is null because listener is optional we may want to include a listener or we may not want to include a listener so that is why it is null for now so everything is fine i guess so our base recycler view adapter class is ready and now we can use it in any of our recycler view adapter class so let me show you how you can use this class so let's create a products adapter that is already created here now instead of extending or inheriting recycler view dot adapter here we will inherit base recycler view adapter and here we will define the type the first one is the type of the list that is product i already have my model classes here that is data class and then we have the data binding class so the layout name is product layout so the data binding class that is generated as product layout binding so we will write it here product layout binding like this you can see our recycler view adapter class is ready we just need to override some member functions so we will press alt enter and then we will select implement members and now we just need to override two functions that is get layout and on bind view holder you can see our recycler view adapter class is very very concise now for get layout i will define the layout that we want to use for this recycler view so it is r dot layout dot product layout and inside the function on bind view holder we need to bind the products values so what we will do here is we will write holder dot binding we will access the binding then dot product equals to we will get the items that is a mutable list of products so we have items and the position that's all our products adapter is ready and now if you want to add a click listener what you can do is you can write holder dot binding dot root dot set on click listener and here we can use the listener that we created so we have listener then the null safety dot invoke and we will pass the clicked view that is at and then we will pass the selected item that is items position and then we will pass the position itself so we have the click listener as well now we can use this products adapter in our activity or fragment you can see our product adapter class is very very much concise so now you can use this base recycler view adapter class in any of your recycler view adapter class so that is the power of inheritance that means reusing the existing code so let me show you how you can use this products adapter so you will go to your main activity or fragment whatever you are using then here we will create private val adapter by lazy i like to use lazy and here i will define products adapter like this now here what we will do is i already have a list of products here now here i will access the recycler view that is recycler view in my activity underscore main dot xml and then adapter equals to adapter and after setting the adapter we will call adapter dot add items and we will pass our list like this now if you want to add a click listener you can use adapter dot listener equals to we have view 
then we have item and then we have position like this now here we can create a toast we have toast make text then this and then item dot title and toast dot length then show just for the example so everything is fine let me try running the application to see it is working or not you can see our recycler view is working absolutely fine we can also click the items you can see we are handling the click events so it is awesome right we created one class and now we can use the same class in all of our recycler view adapter classes so that's how we should write code when we are working in an actual application so that is all for this video friends i hope you found it helpful and learned something new for any question leave your comments below and if you think my contents are helpful then please tell your friends about this channel thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off